going on this is robin williams from the real robin williams.com and in this video i will be showing you how to turn off your confirmed opt-in so i'll be going over some important notes so stay tuned and let's get started it's going to be pretty cool so basically a opt-in uh is normally set in a weber when you uh enter your information or you have people enter their information on your lead capture page whatever that may look like your squeeze page capture page same thing and once they enter their information in there uh they are sent a message to confirm that they actually want to see receive your emails so what you want to do is turn that off only if uh, you don't have a whole bunch of traffic. I will be uh, very open about this. So I'm going to go ahead and log into AWeber. Basically, in places like Canada, they have these really strict laws. and You don't want to get shut down or fined. I don't even know what they do to you. But I do know that some people get caught and people that send to Canada take this very seriously. So top internet marketers take this very seriously. However, if you're starting off, you don't have you know a whole bunch of uh, traffic going to your, your uh, squeeze page or anything like that from like crazy locations like Canada. Um, then you should be fine to cut this off. A lot of people will say, oh, no, that's bad. But I will tell you that if you don't have a whole bunch of traffic, maybe you have, I did some Instagram marketing where most people were from the U.S. And basically the, uh, you know, I, I, I had it off. I turned it off in my leads. I probably had like over a thousand leads just from Instagram and I had no issues. So, but like I said, if you're someone who has, um, a, a ton of traffic you know maybe you're not new to the internet marketing field you know how to drive tons of traffic and uh you plan on using aweber definitely leave your confirmed opt-in on you'll be fine so basically for the newbies that don't know uh when you turn your confirm when you leave your confirmed opt-in on it kind of um decreases the amount of people who actually get on your list because a lot of people don't go in and cut it off um or basically click the button saying to confirm and uh, if you if you leave it on then basically you could be losing a lot of uh, opt-ins or prospects when you log into your Aweber account depending on what list is right here on current list is the actual list you are working on so that is something to take note so each of these lists has an option to turn the confirmed opt-in on or off so make sure you're working on the correct list you want to utilize or maybe you want to do it from all your for our for all of your lists <laughs> like tongue tied here uh you want to want to go ahead and, and basically uh just click on it one at a time so the list options and list settings is how you will get to turn it off basically here at the confirmed opt-in mine is already off but if you scroll down, oh, actually, I just tested, I just created this, so it's not off. So I will click uh, um, send a confirmed opt-in email for web forms, and I will click that to turn it off. It will give you a warning and a recommendation that uh, you should keep it on. But I'm gonna say yes because you know I don't drive a whole ton of traffic yet. And um, basically, you can add a, a success page if you wanted to a, a confirmation page as well. But that's only really if you're keeping it on. So that's how you turn it off. And if you are collecting a prospect and or the or the you know uh, lead through an Aweber form, that's probably all you have to do. However, if you use a third-party funnelizer, like I have this uh, tool that I use to collect my leads. If I'm using this, I have to take an extra step. So maybe you tried to do this step already and it didn't work. Um, I'll show you why, it, you know, what could possibly be the problem. So because I'm using this, you know, third party funnelizer that has nothing to do with AWeber, they want you to contact them in order to cut it off. So basically, after you do this portion, you have to go to like help hopefully I can get to it should be like a chat if you if it's during the day you might have a chat box that's really quick but if not this service is uh pretty uh they're pretty quick their customer service if they're not up on chat when you're trying to do this basically you could just um I'm sorry here we go can't find an answer what you can do because you'll you'll have to you'll have to contact them to get this cut off so don't even try to look for the solution um, basically what you would do is uh, you will select your type of problem normally I pick 
technical sec uh, question and you can put the list name so remember we looked at the list name up here uh, you can put whatever list name you're working on and then you can uh, put the type of question you can say web form and basically I don't I normally don't do all of this web form name URL web form is located you can you can put that in there like I will put my web form here in there basically and uh, what I would do is pretty much tell a Weber um, I think I have a shortcut to type because I was creating so many lists back there. I will pretty I, I will pretty much tell them, hello, I would like to turn off my confirmed opt-in. I've already turned it off within the system and I will be using a third-party funnelizer. My username is blase blase and the list name is such and such. You know, I will put all that information in there and pretty much thank you, whatever. And I will send a help request. And then from there, uh, maybe like the next day that they're open, they'll just send an email saying that it's turned off. After you get that confirmation, you can go back to your lead capture page and put in the information to test it and then see if it works. If it, if it doesn't work, you'll probably have some other issue other than that confirmed opt-in. So with that said, that's the end of this video. If you are looking for, you know, ways to market online, internet marketing, ways to uh, build up your affiliate marketing, uh, definitely click on the link at the top of the description of this video. If you're looking for more tips and stuff like this, definitely subscribe. Uh, ask a question in the comments or, uh, you know, search my videos for more tips or definitely hit me up if you feel like I missed out on something and uh, there's something on here you wanted to learn. So this is Robin Williams from the realrobinwilliams.com. I'll see you on the top.